Um, Mini Masters is one of the programs that we started running a few years ago um, that is specifically targeted for children aged two to five. Um, so before they start school, um, there weren't a lot of programs in Calgary that addressed or offered um, experiences for children that age and we felt there was a need. So we decided to develop something um, based on that. So with the children, um, we actually talk about the artwork and create a piece inspired by the artist or artwork. So the mini master's course um, actually is inspired by the current exhibitions at Esker. All of our programs are actually inspired by that largely. Um, so we actually look at the current exhibition and from that think about the things that we would like to um, explore with the, with the children's program, specifically Mini Masters. So the inspiration for this workshop was uh, Veronica Berkeley's work which is on exhibition in our project space. It's called Second Nature Feral and it features a stop motion animation film that she uh, created herself um, over the period of about a year. Um, she created a model, or as we called it today, a diorama for the children of a home that was um, no longer inhabited by humans. Um, it's this beautiful sort of architectural feat where she actually um, built it like a real home. So it actually has insulation, plugs, everything within it. Um, and then slowly throughout the stop motion animation, she's created these beautiful um, needle felted creatures that move into that space, in and out of that space. And the um, actual artwork evolves over time um, and the animals actually move into that and make that space their home. Um, so it's kind of this uh, interesting change that's something that um, we had abandoned and then the animals actually move in and inhabit it. The normal sort of process or steps within a mini master's workshop is the children arrive and a staff member or volunteer um, reads a book that relates to the exhibition that has been selected by the artist or ourselves or Calgary Reads um, while we're sort of getting organized and then we start by talking a bit about the gallery, what we're going to do that day, the artist, and then we actually visit an artwork um, and talk about um, that piece specifically. And from that we um, have drawn inspiration to develop a project for the children to create that day. Um, so we talk about the steps to actually create that artwork or create that project and then we actually just let them go and do it and then we're there to support them throughout that process um, providing additional materials or support, um, demonstrating specific skills, um, if it's sculpture or cutting or things like that um, that they might not have had experience with before. Some of the past skills that the children have learned are really varied because they're quite young. So they actually are preschool. They haven't gone to school yet. Um, so some of the children, um, it will be their first time experiencing scissors or um, sculpting or using sculpting tools, um, using different mediums. Um, so there's a lot of new experiences and techniques that they're kind of experimenting with and we're there to kind of support them and their parents through that. So the mission of Mini Masters program um, for me and for Esker was really to expose children um, to contemporary art and give them access to it and make them comfortable in the gallery setting. So it was really um, to welcome them and their families. Um, I think a lot of times galleries maybe don't feel as welcoming for, for young children. Um, it's a lot of not touching, um, no running, like there are guidelines of course. Um, but we really wanted to welcome them and show them it was a place for them to explore contemporary art, um, meet artists, um, learn about artists, and actually create their own works inspired by those artists. So what's so important about families actually working together and making art in an art gallery um, is focusing on those shared experiences. And um, there, our programs are all family focused. Um, we're wanting children and parents to work together. Today I actually called them a team. The parents were supposed to be assisting the children with, or guardians with creating their work. Um, so if the child isn't comfortable handling scissors, it's their first time, their parent is supposed to be there to support them and help them execute their vision, not necessarily make it for them, but just assist them with their guidance. Um, and I think that just really creates for, recreates um, strong relationships, helps build build those relationships and create memories for those families. So I think the purpose of Esker is to inspire um, children to continue with their artistic practice and explore um, different mediums. So often after a mini master's course or something, I'll get 
messages or emails asking like, what's the recipe for this, this dough we made? How do I do this? Where do I get this for my child? I want them to be able to explore this more. So we really just inspire, inspire them and give them just a taste of art and a taste of sculpture, a taste of painting. And then we really help facilitate the parents with the right materials that are going to work. They're non-toxic for the children where they're available um, and helping them take that home and work on it. And same with the talking points, like inspiring them to kind of take that piece of escrow home and explore it more and then come back. We really want repeat visits. We want people to think of Esker as theirs and come here and um, be welcome and be inspired and spend time with us. So at Esker Foundation, all of our public programming is free and that is really a decision um, that we made early on. Um, and they've always been free and that is really to increase accessibility to contemporary art um, and increase um, knowledge and learning opportunities um, for Calgarians and, and the public in general. Um, anyone is welcome to attend. Um, we really just want people to come and meet the artists and talk about the work and learn and share. Um, those are some of the big goals of, of our program.